grenade there, a little bit of crowd control for the smuggler, a good way for him to take on multiple enemies. Again, the game is all about heroic combat. And that is a quick look at our barrage ability. The smuggler is able to fire off a whole plethora of blaster bolts at once to take on enemies. But of course, even the smuggler has to be able to deal with enemies up close and personal, so let's see what he has at his disposal here. Well, the smuggler is a classy guy. Now we're going to give you a quick look at the planet Korriban. This is a special reveal, the first look at the Sith Warrior class. Now the Sith Warrior starts on the planet of Korriban. Those of you who played the original Knights of the Old Republic will remember Korriban well. It is the home of the Sith Empire. It is in fact where the Sith learn their training, learn the ways of the dark side of the Force. So we're starting you off here and uh, you're not yet a high level Sith, you're still uh, proving yourself. One of your first tasks is to go into this tomb and clear it out. Uh, these tombs have been recovered discovered again numerous times and this particular one has actually been infested with uh, some chlor slugs and some tomb looters. So we're going to see what you do as a melee class here. Again, in keeping with what we've said before, we want to make sure that your gameplay experience, your combat, feels as iconic, as much like a Sith warrior as possible. So you have that force charge move. You can get in very close very quickly, and then you can finish people off pretty darn effectively, especially when you have your lightsaber. But now, of course, you're not always going to be taking on melee combatants. Sometimes you're going to take on some uh, NPCs, people who have the ability to shoot from range. We wanted to show how you can handle that. First, a, a quick look at the inside of this tomb here. The tomb of Ajunta Paul on the planet Korriban. So there are a couple of uh, humanoids ahead. Let's see how we can take them on. Nice to notice that your enemies do take cover. Uh, notice also that you have an ability to deflect some of those blaster bolts. Very nice. And that's your first glimpse of the Sith Warrior class on the planet Korriban. Okay, so let's recap what you've seen so far. We've shown you a little bit of combat with three of our classes. We've shown you some exploration with three different planets. We've shown you some progression with some higher level abilities on our characters. But what we want to talk about now is getting back to the idea of putting great story into an MMO. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to show you by showing you what we call a flashpoint. And a flashpoint is a highly customized story and gameplay experience. And in this particular flashpoint, we're going to show you a higher level bounty hunter and a higher level Sith warrior that grouped up on a space station and decided to board this Imperial transport. Now, once they got on board the Imperial transport, they found out the captain had disobeyed a direct order from a Grand Moff. And if you remember Grand Moff Tarkin from the movies, you know that's probably not such a great idea. So after fighting their way through multitudes of Imperial soldiers, they're about to confront the captain. And remember, our game is all about choices that have meaning and impact. So pay attention very closely and we'll point out when that choice occurs. All Marines have been neutralized, scanning for additional threats. What's going on? Sir? Stay calm, Ensign. Everyone stay calm. No threats found. The bridge is now secure. Cooperate or die. Hands off the consoles. We're all listening, my lord. I can handle this, Lieutenant. I'm Captain Revenal Orzik. I'm pretty sure I know what this is about. For the record, I take complete responsibility for my actions. Captain Orzik, I'm told you disobeyed a direct order from Grand Moff Kilrun. Yes, I had no idea he'd respond this brutally. He must want the Brendel Star's passenger pretty badly. Maybe he just hates me. The Black Talon would be destroyed chasing a battleship. I fought in the war before and I'll fight again, but I don't do suicide missions. Now this is a critical decision in our flashpoint. We have to decide whether we want to save the captain and use his experience to help us out in this situation or kill him in true Sith fashion. Suicide was deciding you could ignore your superiors. Oh. The captain's dead! The captain's dead! Shut 
shut up. You have our attention, my lord. What would you have us do? Let this be a lesson. Your only hope for survival is complete and utter loyalty. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. In accordance with Article 27A of the Imperial Code of Military Conduct, command of this vessel has been lawfully transferred. New orders are being downloaded to your consoles. Priority 1, intercept the Brent All-Star. Vakara, do as the droid says and prepare to jump to light speed. Emerging from hyperspace now. One Ranta class warship on the scanners. Powering up. Enemy is firing. Turbo lasers, missiles, and what looks like transport pods. I'm not sure. The pods are a distraction. Return fire. Aim for their power generators. So long as they're damaged, we're not. We have the advantage. Lieutenant. Captain Silas, sir. Engineering is reporting blaster fire. They just cut out. I wasn't expecting much from the Imperial military, but you were a sad bunch. Damn it. It must be some sort of boarding action. If they're in engineering, they could destroy this ship. With due respect, I recommend you lend a hand down there. Time to go to work. I'll notify security. And don't worry. We won't let those Republic scum get away. So what you just witnessed was the first ever multiplayer dialogue system in an MMO. You may have noticed in the beginning, the Sith Warrior was responding to the questions, but later on, you actually saw the Bounty Hunter, and that's an interactive system that the players experience when you're grouped up in a conversation. Now, the decision you just made will have a dramatic impact on many aspects of gameplay, so you chose to kill...